Hi guys and welcome back to the show. If Mobit Mobile Mother Station is ever going to spread its wings, we need to build them first. So let's not waste any more time and let's get right down to it. When we ended the last episode, we had just ripped the wings down to size on my DIY table saw and cut them to length on the already functioning motor station. Now we need some bracings for the underside of the wings. So I prepared some 2x4 construction timber on my Shepak HMS 850 planer thicknesser. Using the planing function I made sure one side was completely flat and then I used the thicknessing function to make the other side parallel. Luke, I am Nomad Makes. Using the narrow rip trick I learned from Keith Brown at Rag and Bone Brown, I took off the rounded edges of the construction timber. You simply set up a stop lock for a very narrow rip and then keep adjusting the fence as needed. And then I could rip the bracings down to their final dimensions. The bracings were chopped to length on the motor station and I gotta tell you guys, this thing already works great. To allow the wings to fold completely parallel to the sides of the carcass, I needed to put a 45 degree mitre on the end of the bracings that was facing the carcass. I haven't really used my downdraft table a lot, but now it came in really handy as I gave the bracings a rough sand down to remove any saw marks. I drilled and countersunk pilot holes for the screws that will fix the bracings to the wings. I keep my PVA or wood glue in a used ketchup bottle and I keep topping it up so I never have any problem squeezing out the glue. I also want a bracing for the edge of the wing that is furthest from the carcass. And these were chopped to length on the miter saw. To support the wings when they are spread, I will make some triangular shaped sections that will fold out almost like a door. 
to do this I needed to rip down some more sheet cuts. Since this is veneered plywood I start with a scoring cut using the scoring function on the saw before making a cut to the final depth. And I gotta tell you guys, cutting down sheet goods is a breeze even in my tiny workshop using a track saw. To do the cross cuts I whipped out the cross cut jig I made for my track saw. I already have enough experience using this jig that I want to make some minor improvements to it, but more on that uh, in a later video. I drew out the shape I wanted for the supports on one of the panels. And to cut out the shapes I used my DIY upside down table jigsaw thingamabob. If you don't have a bandsaw, this works surprisingly well for certain tasks. However, you get a lot of vibrations, even using a blade that only cuts on the upstroke, meaning downstroke, when it's upside down. So you have to put a lot of downforce on the workpiece when you're cutting. Afterwards, I used the first support to draw out the shape on the second panel. My DIY hack upside down doohickey didn't have enough cutting capacity, so I had to complete one of the cuts with a handsaw. And then, unbeknownst to me, we have apparently now built a spaceship for Baby Vader. Who knew? Before I leave you guys for today, I have a question. And it is about the audio in my videos. I leave some sound in the background because I believe tool sounds improve the viewer experience. However, a lot of the time there is noise from my shop vac and air scrubber as well. And iMovie doesn't manage to remove this completely from the video. So, I guess the question is, would you prefer complete silence in the video? I mean, there would of course be voiceover. Or is the noise from the shop vac and air scrubber not that obtru obtrusive? I do not think adding music to the videos is a good option. Or... If I put it like this, on a scale from 0 to 10, how obtrusive do you find the noise from the shop vac and the air scrubber? But again, that is it for today. I really hope you enjoyed the video guys. If you did, please remember to leave a thumbs up. If this is your first visit to my channel, please consider subscribing. If you want to support me, there is a link to my Patreon, as well as Amazon links to products I use and recommend below. Cheers guys, and i catch you in the next one.